folks, well, welcome back to the shed. Excuse the mess, please. I'm uh, back in here uh, today. It's been uh, three months thereabouts since I took any video of any consequence. And that's mainly because it's been the New, the New Zealand winter and motivation has been pretty low to get out here and do any work so sort of just hunkered down for the winter and had to think about some things about what i want to do uh, with these cars uh, come summertime so the forenza is sitting here pretty much as i left it and pretty much as you last saw it just languishing i have not been able to come up with a suitable uh, coil spring replacement as such yet so I've pretty much given up in disgust at the moment. I have, however, um, ordered some Spax uh, shock, absor shock absorbers from the UK. And they are due here next month, I think that is. Um, so maybe when they turn up, I'll, I'll get into this again. Um, but meantime, I, I am on a bit of a mission. Um, to get some space in here um, and get the GT uncovered and moved out of here and the reason for that is um, well apart from the fact it's a mess and I've got all my junk laying around that I've you know had from doing my forensic build and never really cleaned up so apart from the need just to have a general tidy up um, and sort of Help with, vote, help with motivation out here in the shed. Uh, I do have a bit of a surprise uh, coming up, which I'll be uh, showing you in the near future. And that's in the form of a, another vehicle, which is sort of a um, surprise to me as well. And I won't give too much away right now. I'm going to do a special uh, video for that and it will become its own little blog um, but all I can tell you right now is that it is it is on the water coming across from Australia soon and it's due here in New Zealand um, in the next uh, couple of weeks so it's pretty exciting again I'll fill you in more about that uh, closer to the time and that'll be quite a neat little story I'll be able to indulge in uh, at, at that time so back to where I was um, again Frenza sitting here just sitting here I'm really in two minds what to do with this thing at the moment I know I need to finish it it's just hard to get motivated to do it when you can't find the things that you need but sometimes you come up 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 against brick walls and just can't get any traction and it really kills the motivation so um, with that along with the winter months just not uh, feeling the need to get out here uh, this poor old girl is just sort of sitting here um, probably the next week or so I will actually just spend a bit of time on it and uh, maybe fire her up again just give her a bit of a run just to keep things turning over um, but for now I've just got to focus on making some space in here and so again that's going to involve clearing all this rubbish off of the GT here and moving it out of the garage um, I do have um, an extra garaging over here a little single garage that I'm getting cleared out and that is where the GT is going to get parked for a while um, and stored which means it probably won't see a lot of action for a while because again I've just got so much going on here that what I need to do really is get it out of here and stored out of the way somewhere uh, to make room for this other project car that's coming once I get this uncovered I will um, I'll show you a, what a bit more you know what it looks like um, give, give you a bit more information about this car um, and again this car has been sitting for about five years while I've been doing the Forenza project 
um, and that's because it needed a couple of things doing to it, which again I'll get into a bit later on. So, that's my mission today. I am going to um, just start having to clear up in here. It's just feeling a little bit claustrophobic, and um, it's just time to have a tidy up. So, that's my mission today. Um, I will um, come back to you later, and we'll get uh, we'll have a look at this GT. All right, let's see how we go. So there she is uncovered, the old uh, Viva GT. Again, uh, poor old girl's been sitting here for about five years. You can see last registration there in 2017. It's when I last had it on the road, so um, poor old girl's just been sitting here waiting patiently. And again, this car is. Um, in a need of a little bit of love. I was using it pretty regularly up until I parked it. Um, the year I parked it, um, the Speedo uh, stopped working. And that was the main reason I parked it. Um, I just never got around to fixing that. And um, you can't get a warrant of fitness without a Speedo, working Speedo, so. I sort of just uh, parked it there, and I guess that's when I got onto this, and um, it's been sitting there ever since. So, this is a car I've had Jeepers um, for a, a few years now. Uh, the story behind this car is that I first purchased it uh, as a young guy back in about 1988, I want to say. And it looked pretty much like this. Um, but during that first um, period of ownership, I put in the, uh, I took out the original motor and put in the a worked 2.3 engine. Which, you know, sure it makes it go quite a bit better, but I kind of wish I'd kept the original engine. Um, and drivetrain, but you know, it's long gone now. Um, so yeah, I owned this car again back about 88. I owned it for about three years at that stage, I think it was, um, and did the engine conversion. And then, due to circumstances, I had to sell it. I just was putting too much money into it, and I had to move town, and so I sold it. And then it went through a few hands there. I think the guy that bought it off me at that stage did a little bit of circuit racing in it. 
um, and then it got part outside, uh, looked out in the weather, which didn't do it any good. And then the tap after that, um, I believe, spent a bit of time and effort bringing it back up um, and got some use out of it. <clears throat> yeah, and then he on sold it to the the guy I bought it off, and I don't know what he did with the car very much. I think he had it parked most of the time as well. So I um, tracked down the previous owner in about um, 2010, I want to say, maybe 2009. Um, and that's when I was still, I was working and living in the US at the time. Um, out of uh, Louisiana. Um, that's a whole other story. But anyway, I was based over there and I tracked down the owner here in New Zealand and said, hey, you know, what are you doing with that car? I said, and he said, well, actually, I am looking to, to get rid of it. So we struck a deal, and I paid too much money for it, and um, had it shipped, um, transported down to uh, my hometown um, at that stage and put it in storage while I finished up what I was doing in the U.S. And so I guess I had it in storage for a year or two um, while I was still in the U.S., and then when I finally came back from the US and settled here again in New Zealand, uh, pulled out of storage and got it back on the road without too much effort actually, um, thankfully. Um, and I pretty much use it as is. Um, I haven't done too much to it, except I think I did change out the uh, Delorto carburetors and put on some new Webers that I'd bought. Uh, 45 Webers, um, didn't seem to make much difference actually, so probably wasn't worth doing, but they're on it now, and I did um, have some wheels made for it, uh, I say made, they are MG, 40 inch MG wheels, which I've had widened, um, and they sit on adapters, so um, that's what's currently on it, I do have the original 13 inch wheels, rust style wheels, uh, for it as well So yeah, I'll just show you under the bonnet in case you haven't seen uh, all my videos I did show this on my I think my first video uh, Of the Forenza. I gave you a bit of a quick tour of this, but I'll just do that again now oh, If I can just set that up So here's what it looks like uh, under the engine bay. The old 2.3 iron Vauxhall unit. Um, and again, this is the engine I put in it way back in the day. And um, when I put this engine in, I uh, had a bit of work done to it. I bought uh, some Chevy flat top pistons and um, big stainless steel valves. Uh, I did all the head work myself actually, way back then. Um, ported it, put the valves in. Um, the cam, I can't recall what the cam is. Um, it's one that I had out of a, a donor car, I think it um, was um, a fairly high spec cam, but I honestly have no idea now. Um, it's got the um, Extractors on it, which I believe are Blydenstein copy. And again, there's the uh, 45 Webers that I put on it. Um, just because it wasn't running very well, so instead of rebuilding the Delortos I had on it, I just swapped those out and put them on, and it didn't make a lot of difference. I think the engine's got. Uh, Bigger problems that need dealing with. Um, it just um, it's got a blows a bit of smoke and um, got a blow back through the cam cover there. So it's just it's just tired, you know the engine. Um, and I am currently uh, mucking around with the fuel pump as well. I did have it running an electric fuel pump for a while, uh, which gave out um, after sitting for those years. And I tried to. Tried to start the car about a year or so ago, I suppose, and um, couldn't get any petrol coming through, so 
sort of gave up. Um, you can see I've started putting the mechanical pump back on um, and I don't think I can get that to work so I so I pretty much just gave up that stage and um, knowing that I'll get back to it later on. So yeah that's my GT that I've owned uh, now for 10, uh, what's well, been 11 years I guess now uh, as my second ownership under my second ownership and really it needs a um, or I'd like to do is give it a full restoration um, at some stage I'll just have to decide whether I've got that in me or not um, but meantime as I've stated I'm gonna store it um, in my other shed around the corner here um, while I make some space for this other car that's coming and um, you know Hopefully one day, I'll maybe even this summer, I'll, I'll get this car running at least and take it for a little drive. Um, and how much more than that I'll do, um, I can't say right now. Um, I do currently have a jack stand underneath it because I, um, while trying to work out what I was doing with this thing here with my shock absorbers, I just wanted to try and get a part number reference. So I took the old Kony shock out you can see there and tried to get a part number off it. <coughs> Excuse me, which I did do. So I just need to put that um, shock absorber back in, put it back on down on its wheels properly, and then um, I'm going to roll her out of here and um, push her out and poke her under the other storage over there. All right, so that's my Viva GT from 1968. Great little car. I'll just show you the inside here real quick. I guess I should do that. So there it is, um, still smells the same this car, it always smelt the same, that old uh, vinyl smell, it smells the same as it did uh, 30 years ago when I first owned it. <clears throat> so not in bad shape, you can see a few cracks in the upholstery here and there, the seats have had new inserts put in them, even that was done before I owned it the first time around, so they've been there forever, and that's an Opal GT steering wheel that I put on it. Because um, I don't have the original original one, and yes, yeah, it's, it's you know not in bad shape considering the um, headliner's still in good shape, <clears throat> so it cleans up all right. Um, unfortunately, when that guy uh, raced it, he uh, put a cutoff switcher in the center console, which is disappointing, but um, it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's her, the old beast. She's fun to drive. It's a very visceral experience. Yeah. It's uh, you know, she's definitely from 1968. That's what I'll say. But anyway. There she is. Um, I say I'll move her out of here shortly, um, make some space in that other garage, and see if I can wheel her out of here and um, put her in her next um, storage spot. All right. So there we have it, the GT's out and it left a nice little duty mark where it's been sitting. So I'll get that cleaned up tomorrow probably. And so 
here's my space now and I'm still uh, a bit tight for room here so this engine crane is gonna have to get sold I don't need that anymore bunch of tires and rims there from my old BMW need to go and I've got this engine here as well that I might as well get rid of because I don't need this, this is a 2.3 voxel block, high compression block, it's got flat top pistons and a big valve head, electronic dizzy there to go with it. Um, I've got a, I'm going to show you, I've got a few bits and pieces over here that I'll sell with it, just because I need to get rid of some stuff. What have I got? I've got a twin carb manifold there, twin side draft manifold. I've got a nice cam there, I've been told, I forget the specs on it, but it's a competition cam. Yeah, it's got an adjustable timing wheel on it. I've got a alloy cam cover to go with it. And another cam there as well. So I've got a few goodies to go that I just don't need. Um, there's a light and flywheel there too, I believe, and clutch. So yeah, I've got a I'm making for a nice little motor there, which was going to be um, put together for my GT, but. I'm probably just not going to make it now. I just can't see it happening, so I think I'm just going to offer this up to somebody and see if anybody can make use of it. But anyway, that's the um, the space left for the new car or the next project. And uh, next, I need to get this thing back down on the ground and shift it over a little bit. Now the GT is stacked away, uh, look at that, <laughs> stacked away in the, in the garage here, in my spare shed, and I'm going to put some serious thought into what I do with that car now. Alright, that's it for the day, uh, tomorrow I'm going to do some Decreasing of this concrete um, and a bit more of a tidy up in here, get a bit more organized and um, see if I can just get the space a little bit better with a new arrival. Alright, out for now, see you again soon.